What drives a man to decide that having a backyard is just not enough? You got to do an entire baseball field. What drove you to do this for a career? Well, I've always enjoyed being outside. I always uh, cut lawns as a kid. Did some farm work prior to being here. And, and I think myself and any of the guys on the crew, big baseball fans, and, and you know, what's better than getting to spend your day out here every day? You're just trying to get it looking like opening day or you know, game seven of the playoffs is our goal. Oh, wait a minute. Everybody wants to help out. How many days a week? How many hours a day? Uh, most of my games, it's usually about 9 to 11 at night. And pretty much seven days a week. Even, even on an off day, even holidays, if it's in season, we stop by here even for you know an hour or two just to make sure everything's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Make sure the water came on if it had to come on or stayed off if it had to stay off. What do you got there? Oh, look at this. It's a hose hookup. How many of those you have? Uh, there's nine around the field. Foul territory, outfield, in front of the dugout, so we can pretty much hand water at anything we might need. And you hope nothing goes off at the same time? I hope nothing goes off at the same time. <laughs> you care as much about the dirt as you care about the grass. Could you explain that, please? It is, probably except for the two and a half hours we spend on the grass in the morning, everything else during the day. It's dirt. That's really what the players will comment on. That's what affects, I think they say, 60 to 70 percent of the game. So you think it's grass, but it's really about the dirt. It's really the grass. Grass is for the fans, the dirt is for the players.